Thanks to Xi Jinping, China has lost more in the last few months than it did in decades. It has lost its soldiers, its reputation and the world's markets. When countries all around the globe were brought to their knees by the coronavirus, the vile authoritarian regime of China saw this as a golden opportunity to stamp its authority over the world. However, the strategy has backfired and it is China which has come out as the biggest loser. Let's take a look at all that China has lost in just a few months. More than 35 soldiers dead and the myth of its military superiority busted. The myth of China having a superior military might was busted after the Galwan Valley incident. The People's Liberation Army of China was made to eat humble pie in Ladakh, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave a free hand to the Indian Army's battle-hardened soldiers to deal with the wussies of PLA. This face-off has demonstrated that Ladakh is not the South China Sea where the Chinese would be able to unilaterally change the status quo. A senior official in South Block had said after the incident. While the sacrifices of Indian Army soldiers were widely reported as they were given respect and proper state burials, no detail was brought out in the public memory about the fate of PLA soldiers by Chinese authorities. As a result, Weibo, a similar micro-blogging platform like Twitter with millions of Chinese users, started seeing an outrage as the Chinese citizens demanded to know about the soldiers that had died. Some US intelligence reports quoted that there were 35 PLA fatalities, while a senior Chinese official a couple of days ago claimed that 108 PLA troops had succumbed to the injuries inflicted by the superior Indian soldiers. The Chinese propaganda machinery, which usually works smoothly to counter any anti-China sentiment, had a meltdown in the aftermath of Galwan. The mouthpieces of Beijing came up with bizarre excuses as to why the Chinese authorities were not releasing the numbers. India's digital strike on China Even as Huawei was already facing rejection worldwide, India banned 59 Chinese apps, including the video platform or espionage app TikTok. Now, other allies of India are looking to emulate the same feat. It is now being reported that the United States of America and the down-under country of Australia will also ban the controversial app owned by the Chinese tech giant ByteDance Group. Furthermore, the Trump administration is in the middle of revoking Hong Kong's special trade status after Beijing passed the highly controversial national security law which is aimed at culling the autonomy and freedom of Hong Kongers. BRI and its tumultuous fate Projects under its ambitious Belt and Roads initiative are being shelved or in many cases being forced to stop. For example, in Kenya, the appellate court has passed a judgment against the 3.2 billion US dollars standard gauge railway project between the Kenyan government and the China Road and Bridge Corporation calling the contract illegal. Countries are also shutting out Chinese investments. Many European countries, including Italy, Spain and Germany, have tightened their FDI rules in the light of recent events to prevent a hostile takeover of their companies by Chinese firms. The down-under country of Australia has changed its foreign investment rules, which gives greater approval powers to the Foreign Investment Review Board to curtail opportunistic takeovers of struggling businesses amid increasing national security risks. Even India has altered its FDI norms, saying all the investments will have to go down the government route after alarm bells went ringing when news of the People's Bank of China acquiring 1.01% stake in India's lending major the Housing Development Finance Corporation went bust. No free pass for China from any country. China had a free pass throughout its neighborhood as no country stood up to Chinese bullying. But the last couple of months has been a different ballgame altogether for the authoritarian Xi Jinping regime. As India gave a humiliating blow to Chinese attempts to intrude into the Galwan Valley, many smaller nations like Vietnam Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, which rarely respond to China's bullying, are now speaking up against Beijing. All these incidents prove that China has been pinned down badly by the countries around the globe and if it doesn't get its act right, then this is only the beginning. Much greater obstacles are in store for China and it won't be a pretty sight for the Red Authoritarian Regime.